Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Frank from Big Dipper Defense in Palmer, Alaska, and uh, I just thought I would share with you guys a, a really nice AK. Uh, this is one of my favorite brands. It's a Molot, the Molot Vepper, and um, it is the pretty much highest quality Russian AK you can get unless you run out and get yourself a fully automatic Tula but um yeah this baby is an AK-74 so it's chambered in 5.45 by 39 and um this in particular AK has a Krebs custom handguard with M-lock slots and Pick rail on the top, completely covering the gas tube. And it's got a threaded barrel and a muzzle brake on it. I'm not sure of the brand of the muzzle brake, but AK 74s don't uh, really have a lot of recoil anyway. So the muzzle brake on here, too, it's, it's like nothing it's amazing for target reacquisition after you know you you pump a few rounds out your your barrels not flying all over the place from the recoil it's easy to stay on target um, this one has an RPK rear sight leaf so it's adjustable for elevation and for windage which I think is pretty awesome and um, this one has a CTR adjustable AR-15 style uh, stock, butt stock. Slides in and out. Um, a lot of guys like the AR style stocks on their AKs because they're adjustable and customizable and you know it's whatever I'm, I'm not I like to keep mine straight Kalashnikov keep it com block that's just me personally but it is a nice addition to this rifle so people that are a little bit bigger can slide that out and use it more comfortably or little guys like me can have it in more compact um, so this one has a Magpul pistol grip which is pretty comfortable um, honestly it's probably more comfortable than the uh, original AK pistol grip although I like to keep mine original so on my personal AKs I I stick with the original Russian AK pistol grip but this this Magpul one is pretty comfortable um, it has an ALG trigger it's a lightning bow it's a ALG enhanced lightning bow trigger because of the it's got like a slight curve right there and they're they're pretty crisp and regarded by most people in the industry to be one of the best triggers that you can get for an AK um, what else? This magazine is a Circle 10 45 round mag. And uh, Circle 10 comes out of Bulgaria. And uh, the Circle 10 magazines are widely regarded as some of the best mags that you can get for an AK. They, they are my favorite magazine. They run flawlessly, like all the time. Um, I've never had a problem with the Circle 10 mag. Um, they're pretty awesome and uh, this rifle in general is a pretty pretty phenomenal specimen of Kalashnikov and his handiwork um, it is a pretty sought-after rifle it's not cheap this one this one's worth is probably between I don't know, 
3,000 and 3,500, just depending on, on the market and finding a buyer who appreciates what it is. Um, obviously it's not original. It's got upgrades, aftermarket stuff put on it. Um, but, uh, this handguard really distinguishes this AK from a lot of AKs. You don't, you don't see a lot of these Krebs custom handguards like these. Um, it adds a lot of weight to the front of the rifle. Um, but honestly, it's, uh, it'll only help with recoil reduction. <laughs> so like this being a 545 plus the added weight, plus the muzzle brake, this thing is is really like a dream to shoot if, if you can handle carrying around a few extra pounds. Um, the Molots have a thicker receiver. They actually have a, a 1.5 millimeter receiver, whereas most AKs only have a one millimeter thick receiver. And also they have a heavier contoured barrel. Um, the barrel itself is thicker and stronger and um, much higher quality than your average AK and that's that's some of the reasons that Molot makes some of the best AKs is just uh, they make a whole lot less of them and their parts and craftsmanship are are always top-notch and higher quality than most of the AKs that you'll see out there so that's why Molot is basically one of my favorite um, AK brands they're super reliable they're already heavier than your average AK with all the thicker uh, building materials there. And uh, with this Krebs custom hand guard on here, it's even heavier. Uh, <laughs> this pistol grip is a little lighter and the buttstock's a little lighter, so it, it seems a little front heavy, but honestly, it's, it's great. Oh, I should mention that this is not loaded. Um, So it is um, just a badass AK, and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, this one was just purchased by a very lucky guy that I know. Um, congratulations, Clay. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this beauty. Um, I've shot this a few times, and it's just a dream to shoot. I'm sure you'll have fun with it for many years to come. Um, so, yeah. You guys have a good day. See ya.